Welcome to The Place, the place where atheists can regularly watch a Christian who is not interested in debating whether God exists or not. A Christian who atheists will not subscribe to because it is an attack on your identity to admit that you want to keep watching my videos, so instead you have to go through the back door, type in atheist, search by new, or now, now that you're watching enough of my videos, I'm actually showing up in suggested videos feed. So that's another way to get to me without actually subscribing to my channels. I'm having a lot of repeated uh, viewers coming back after videos. I am the equivalent to the Simpsons episode of Tamako. You take a bite. That's what happens. You don't like it, but you keep coming back to it. I, I'm okay with that. With that being said, I made a video. One of, out of all the atheist videos, it's definitely one of my favorite. It's called, Do Atheists Think My Quality of Life Would Improve If I Didn't Believe in God? I received a comment from Bionic Dance. Quote, The truth is the truth, whether it makes your life better or not. Believing falsehoods is just plain stupid. End quote. Now, I will remind everyone, in case you're new here, I made a video uh, talking about how uh, it was called something like, uh, five reasons atheists can't get through to Christians like me. And the first thing I pointed out is because atheists often start by trying to attack me personally. Like they're trying to make me seem like I'm ignorant, immoral, wrong, etc. which immediately I'm saying I am all those things because I, I believe the opposite of you. Therefore, you're going to perceive me as those things. So I agree that that's how you perceive me. Or they're specifically wanting to hurt my feelings, disrespect me, but that's impossible because I don't give atheists that power. I really don't give anybody that power. It's always a choice to be offended or disrespected, etc. So you can see in this comment, it's in there. It's saying that my beliefs are just plain stupid. I accept that atheists see my views as stupid. I accept that, but here's what's interesting. The truth is the truth, whether it makes your life better or not. Believing falsehoods is just plain stupid. So what we're doing here, we're equating, Bionic Dance is equating the atheist view as truth, and by default, the Christian view as a falsehood. Truth versus falsehood. True versus false. Let's dissect that. Let's imagine that. Because is that truth? Is the atheist perspective truth? And by default, is Christianity false? The moment we start talking about truth, another word comes into mind. Fact. A lot of times what people perceive as their own truth, they also by default perceive as a fact. I think people get those words mixed up. I accept that once we start comparing fact and truth, we could be talking about two different things. They're not always exclusive, especially there's the word belief in there too. There's belief, there's truth, and there's fact. But when Christians and atheists start talking, I don't think we can even use the word truth in conjunction with the other side. I don't think we can do that. Now, granted, yes, in my religion, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Yes, that's what I believe. But if I were talking to an atheist, I don't think that I could tell you that what you believe is false and what I believe is truth, because that's to imply fact. And that's what's happening here. It's the mentality that what I'm believing for me is false. We can't prove that. It has yet to be proven there is no God. It is yet to be proven in modern day society or even for me right now in this video to prove to you that there is a God. That's why one of the reasons I do, I have no interest in debating about God being real or not. But I just think it's interesting, and I'm wondering if there's anybody that agrees with me, that it's strange if an atheist says that their view is truth. That's, that's quite an assumption. Again, privately, I see Christianity as the truth. I do. But I don't think that on a global scale I can say that like it's a fact. So I guess the question I'm asking too is, if you perceive that atheism is truth and Christianity is false, would you take it to the next step and say that truth for you is fact? that it is a fact that God does not exist and it is a fact that what I believe is falsehood. I just, 
the word truth. I think that's a very powerful word. And I think that it is a way of making it seem like it's a fact when it's not. That atheism is a fact. Atheism is not a fact. Christianity, as far as what we can perceive right now in this moment of time, I cannot tell you Christianity is a fact. I will tell you it's my belief. I will tell you it is my truth. I will tell you that it is my fact. But I can't tell you that it's your fact. I can't prove that to you, and I'm not interested in that. But I think the comment comes across as if atheism, it is saying that it's the truth. But if you're an atheist, do you believe it is a fact that the atheist view is exclusively the truth and exclusively, therefore, Christianity is false? I think we need to explore those words better. I think in our English language, belief, truth, and fact get muddled together, and we often make them all the same thing when they're not. Your comments belong right here.